It's the amount of flavors they added that'll get you. This was a lot of pretzels. Nice. First up is dill pickle. This is usually locked in as one of my go-to flavors, but these were lacking. Not a great start. If you can't get pickle right, this might be a quick review. Next is mustard, another classic pretzel flavor. I gotta say they nailed this one. Get a glimpse of that mustard guys. I know there's some genuine mustard heads out there that'll really appreciate this one. I gotta say, props to them for filling the bag with pretzels. There was a protest in South Korea where kids used 160 unopened potato chip bags to make a raft. And they ended up crossing a river, staying afloat from all the air in the bag. A raft full of these pop daddies would sink like a stone. Mexican street corn's up next. What the fuck are these? I don't know if I've ever had a pretzel that tasted like that. If you're into something like cowboy caviar, you'll be into this. Next is cinnamon. Don't buy these if you want something salty. You're gonna be let down. I'm not seeing too many people make a churro flavored pretzel stick. Kinda tastes like those cinnamon twisted sticks from Taco Bell. Garlic Parmesan. I'm not gonna lie, I've hated on garlic Parmesan flavored snacks in the past. But I gotta say, these things are way better than anything I've had before. The hot sauce, they nailed. Although I think they should rename it to buffalo sauce. Smoked Gouda and peppercorn ranch were fine, but I will say I don't think they had enough magic dust in them. Overall, I'm impressed.